Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. In today's video, I'm going to show you or attempt to show you how to draw this quite easily. I'm going to leave these up on the screen so you can maybe pause your video and kind of look. These are your key components. But I'm going to start off drawing one. This is your basically your key component. We need a doesn't matter what size you start off with, but I'm going to use a four inch circle. Control D and make a duplicate and hit a two inch circle. Then I'm going to take them both and I'm going to hit L, put it on the left side. Now we need a rectangle that is one inch wide. I'm going to go ahead and round it off and I can put in any number because anything bigger won't do any uh, harm to go bigger. Now this is the distance. Whoop, this is the distance between here and here is one inch. So we can put that and have it snap right to that. I'm gonna go ahead and move it over a little bit and snap it again so my tail's a little bit longer. And then I'm going to take my virtual segment delete key. Oh, I'm a little bit off somewhere. I'm gonna to snap to that again. There we go. Take my virtual segment delete key and delete that line and this line. And we get this shape. Now I'm going to rotate this a negative 45 degrees. Because I want it in that aspect. I'm going to left click, right click. I'm going to make a duplicate. And there are several ways you could do it, but we just need this end up here. I'm going to... Uh, Mirror it a couple, well, I'm having trouble. Um, I forgot how to do it. Tell you what we could do. I want that on the other side so I can hold down the control button and then I get a perfect, and now I can mirror it the other way. And we're gonna, cause we're gonna cut off that top anyway. I could have just used a rectangle, but I'm gonna have it snap to that corner right there. Now you can see we can take a virtual segment delete key and delete that. But I need to cut this in half. So I'm going to go about right here and start moving and hold down the control button. Now I've got my nudge factor set on six inches. Let me move this out of the way. And we're going to fill that in and make new items. So I'm going to hit that and then hit that. Now I'm going to take both these and I'm going to left click, right click and get an outline. I am going to control D and make a duplicate and hand it, taking this handle with the two sided arrow, I'm going to flip it. But then I need to mirror it. It didn't mirror perfect and that's expected. So what we're going to, and I didn't cut it. If you ever have that problem, I didn't cut it. I cut it too close to the corner. So it's got a little bevel to it. So let's just, let's move my line down. That ought to work. Same thing, smart fill tool, nudge it over, nudge it over. I'm gonna left click, no fill, right click outline, control D and make a duplicate, and then move it up. You need to select it all, and then move it up. I didn't make a duplicate. I hit control D and made a duplicate. Now I'm gonna mirror it, but I need those two, two items to match. So I'm going to grab my shape tool. Well, and see, I didn't, well, I need to really group these together, control G, so they don't move on me. I'm going to zoom in. And I'm going to grab that and have it snap right to that line and then take my virtual segment delete key and, and delete that line. So now you can see our wave. So I'm going to go ahead and seal this up. I'm going to smart fill, nudge it over, smart fill, nudge it over, smart fill, nudge it over. And then... You know, just let your imagination uh, go with you and what color you wanted. Uh, I did a light blue and a black. And, and from the start, I could have started with any dimension and just cut it in half. So we're going to grab that one right there. I'm going to get the interactive fill tool. And I'm going to go from here to here, but I'm going to replace that with a blue, a lighter. Sometimes Corel does that, irritates me. It hides the block. 
Now you can't use, you have to do it twice because it would be upside down if you tried to use the attribute eyedropper or the copy to. So then we got, now we got the middle one and you could leave that, but it kind of shows you how to do a double sided. So I'm gonna bring in a blue and put it in the middle. And then I'm gonna put blacks on both ends. And that's kind of giving it the appearance that it's got some shadow to it. And if you, if you can't get enough, if you can't get enough blue in the center, you can always add another blue. You can add many blues. You know, you just want a little faint aspect. There you go. A pretty good way to make a twisted ribbon type deal. And there's a, I might make another video on how you could actually make this go further. But there's your key component. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.